scientists have been trying for countless centuries to make the structure and nature of our universe tangible by means of theoretical models. But what if, in spite of all calculations and observations, we are subject to a huge error? One of the most exciting and extraordinary theses in the field of cosmology deals with this very question. The idea of a so-called holographic universe is based on the assumption that the way we can observe and perceive the universe is nothing but a misleading illusion. But what would it mean if the universe is indeed merely a hologram? What exactly is meant by this theory? And what circumstances give the experts any reason at all to assume this unique conjecture? We would like to pursue these exciting questions in our video today. Do you want to see more exciting videos about the most breathtaking theories and discoveries in space? Then subscribe to Simply Space to stay up to date. If you like our videos, we'd greatly appreciate a thumbs up. Feel free to click on the images in the credits at the end of today's post to find more exciting videos. concept of the holographic principle. First, we should deal with the question of what exactly is meant by the thesis that our universe is actually a hologram. In contrast to the cult movie The Matrix, this theory of course does not assume that we are currently in a dystopian world populated by cruel aliens, in which deceptively real-looking images are planted in our minds by futuristic devices. The corresponding assumption is based rather on the fact that we ascribe to the universe at present one dimension more than this possesses in truth. If we look into the universe, this appears without any question like a three-dimensional space. The holographic principle pursues the approach that exactly this impression could be a big illusion. This optical illusion could be caused by the fact that the actual two-dimensional processes in the universe appear to us on the gigantic horizon of the galaxy like three-dimensional processes. Let's just think of modern VR glasses at this point. Anyone who has ever immersed themselves into digital worlds with the help of these devices knows that the illusion created by this gadget is amazingly realistic. In reality, however, the resulting three-dimensional game world is merely created by two flat displays. We can also observe a similar principle with these well-known 3D wiggles. Although these are not known to have a deep plane, a three-dimensional effect is nevertheless created when we slightly swivel the small cards back and forth. Simplified, the holographic principle in the universe follows a similar approach as in the described examples. But what could cause such an appearance in the galactic context? The universe as an illusion, what would that mean? In order to get to the core of this standing theory, a team of British physicists carried out a test series in which they examined the microwave background radiation in the universe. The microwave radiation in question is the radiation in the microwave range that was emitted in the vastness of the universe during the course of the Big Bang. The cosmic background radiation can still be detected in every observable corner of space. If one follows the explanations of experts, then a holographic universe would mean, in the reverse conclusion, that our three-dimensional reality is caused in truth by information stored on two-dimensional surfaces. This would include not only our spatial perception, but also time. This could even mean that the objects we can not only see but even feel as three-dimensional entities are in truth nothing but projections of a two-dimensional origin. While the previous attempts to explain holographic universes sometimes went into the field of theoretical speculation, the researchers from Great Britain now claim to have found valid proof that the nature of the world as we perceive it every day is nothing but a great galactic illusion. Quantum Gravity Theory Theoretical physicists at the University of Southampton 
first created models of a holographic, two-dimensional universe. Starting from this spatial condition, the experts turn back the wheel of time by 13 billion years and observe the holographic universe in its original state. At this point, it should be mentioned, however, that the theses of the physicists are based on the theory of quantum gravity. This is still a quite young theory, which tries to combine the rules of general relativity and the laws of quantum physics. Therefore, the starting point of quantum gravity sometimes differs significantly from the understanding of gravity as described in classical theories. Here, British scientists assume that gravity in the universe is actually caused by so-called strings. Put simply, this means one-dimensional structures representing a kind of damage in the physical space. Proponents of this cosmic string hypothesis, which is not to be confused with the prominent string theory, believe that the galactic defects were formed shortly after the Big Bang. They are supposed to have resulted from collisions of two galactic regions with different states. According to the explanations of the British researchers, these strings are again the holographic images of a two-dimensional universe. Evidence for a holographic universe? With the help of highly complex instruments, scientists finally succeeded in locating a hitherto unknown collection of novel information in the microwave range. As mentioned, these are, so to speak, galactic remnants that were created during the course of the Big Bang. Researchers compared the data obtained with the current assumptions of quantum gravity theory. Theoretical physicists were astonished to discover that quantum gravity could be used to reconstruct practically all processes in the earliest universe. This fact, in turn, led the experts to another train of thought. Since Einstein's general theory of relativity cannot always be reconciled with quantum physics, experts believe that they have found proof of the authenticity of their quantum gravity thesis within their test run. After all, the model of the two-dimensional universe was able to decipher various processes of the original universe that previously seemed like unsolvable mysteries. To find further theoretical proof for the existence of a holographic universe, scientists want to intensify their investigations in the future. Is the expansion of the universe an illusion? Beside this exciting thesis, there are other theories concerned with alleged illusions in the universe. Since the early 20th century, we have known that the universe is constantly expanding. In the late 1990s, scientists again came to the conclusion that this expansion is occurring at an ever-increasing rate. This galactic speed increase had to be explained somehow in the ranks of experts. After all, Experts had assumed until then that the predominant force in the universe was above all gravity. However, since gravity has the characteristic property of attracting objects instead of propelling them outward, the thesis of an unknown energy in the universe responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe was put forward. According to this theory, the ominous dark energy played a decisive role in the expansion processes of the universe. A recently published theory now suggests that the accelerated expansion of the universe is nothing more than a grand illusion. Greek researchers, led by Christos Sagas, claim to have found evidence that the expansion speed of the universe is not accelerating steadily, but is in fact slowing down. Is the expansion coming to a standstill? If this assumption proves true, all the theories dealing with the existence of dark energy would be thrown into hopeless chaos. At the same time, however, it could also save us from galactic superdoom. In fact, some researchers suspect that the constantly advancing expansion will ultimately lead to the universe being literally torn apart one day. If one follows the theories of Sagas and his team, the expansion of space will come to a complete standstill in the future. 
Subsequently, the universe could slowly contract again. According to the explanations of researchers, the expansion speed of the universe only appears rapid to us because we can only understand the acceleration of the universe in our direct environment. However, when placed in a larger galactic context, this does not necessarily mean that the entire universe is expanding at a groundbreaking pace. So, while cosmic processes in our immediate neighborhood are proceeding at relatively high speeds, the expansion of the universe outside our galactic home region may be coming to a halt. The problem of the Axis illusion. But what could cause such a galactic illusion? After all, the thesis that the expansion speed of the universe is steadily increasing is widespread among the ranks of leading scientists. The statements of sagas are supported not least by a recent discovery, which deals with the axis alignment of our galactic home region. Some scientists examined the light beams emitted in the course of supernovae. Quickly it turned out that the lights extended preferentially along an invisible axis. From it, the experts deduced that the universe does not seem to be expanding evenly, but above all, in a certain direction. And exactly in this circumstance, Saga sees the proof for the illusory deception countless experts are indicating at present. According to this concept, our home galaxy lies in a galactic stream aligned along a certain axis. Metaphorically speaking, we are in a kind of cosmic river. However, since we drift downstream, it seems as if those areas which lie outside this stream are also moving faster and faster. This means that the expansion of space-time appears to us significantly faster than it is in reality because of our spatial position. The novel theories of Sagas have been met with mixed reactions. While some experts welcome the innovative theory, others criticize that the allegedly groundbreaking realizations of the Greek are not supported with valid observations. What do you think about this exciting topic? Do you think it's possible that the three-dimensional universe is in reality only the holographic image of a two-dimensional space? We're looking forward to your thoughts in the comments. See you soon.